Warring herders and farmers in Kona communities, Jalingo in Taraba State, have signed a ceasefire accord to end hostilities that have claimed more than 12 lives and destroyed millions of naira worth of property. The Peace Party had in attendance the State Commissioner of Police who reassured the warring sides of protection uh, during this year's farming season. Uwolabi Adenusi compiled this report. As I've told you, investigation is ongoing. Leadership of Kona and Fulani communities and some royal fathers are part of the ceasefire agreement reached at the Taraba State's Police Command. The State's Police Commissioner is represented at this event by its deputy. The recent Ethers Farmers conflict in Jalingo had escalated following recruitment of mercenaries by the Ethers. But the police is stepping in between the two warring sides and urging them to give peace a chance in their domain and promising adequate protection for both sides. From the, from, 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 uh, the, the, the chief and the, the leaders, we expect you to go back, constitute a committee of responsible leaders of a prominent sons and daughters of your, of your community to sit down, to the two tribes, to sit down and discuss on this development. Forget about what has passed. Because if you don't forget, you cannot forge, move forward. The absence of Mieti Allah and local Fulani adults at the Pali is cause for concern among participants. Uh, in a conservatory meeting here, on the invitation of the Poli Taraba State Police Command to find a lasting solution to all this crisis between the Fulani and all this uh, the corner in Ardokola and Jalimbo local government area. They have been reassured by the Galadima of Muri Tuko Abatuko that his presence at the Pali would end the crisis. He says that the others and Mieti Allah are his subjects and will be communicated. He also calls for the involvement of traditional institutions in cow tax collection, believing it would checkmate the influx of foreign nationals among them. They are saying they don't see any Fulani representative here because they are talking of Mieti Allah. Mieti Allah is an umbrella, it's an organization, it is not a traditional setup. It is a political setup, but we are representing the traditional institution. So they respect us more than the political leadership. So Mieti Allah, why they are, they, because Mieti Allah they are representing uh, some sec of, I mean, segment of Fulani. But we, are in the traditional setup, we are representing all the Fulanis. With this new development, there is a lot of optimism that Jalingo farmers may witness a bumper harvest if the warring sides keep to the ceasefire. Uh, thank you very much.